Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. As you guys know, I am super obsessed with Korean skincare. I just think it's so hydrating on another level. So when a company called RNW, a new Korean skincare line just launching in Canada, reached out to me to try some of their products, I was super excited. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me do a unboxing of these products. And for the past three weeks, I've been using them on my skin. Today, I'm gonna share with you guys the results. So as always, make sure you're subscribed and without further ado, let's get started. When the company reached out to me, they sent me a really handy package filled with all of the products that I could try. And what was really cool is they also listed all the ingredients so I can look through them and see what these products were made of. They are in the medium price range, about $30 to $50, depending on which product you're buying. The brand actually features quite an extensive line of, of products, so there's something for everyone to try. Whether your focus is treating acne or the overall health of your skin or even anti-aging purposes, there's going to be something for you. One other thing to mention, they actually have a comprehensive list of which products are suitable for your skin concern or skin type. So head over to their Instagram to see that breakdown. So the first product that I chose was the RNW Essential Recipe Gentle Cleansing Oil. This is supposed to be a really light cleansing oil with the base of grapeseed that emulsifies when it comes in contact with water. And it's supposed to gently remove all the makeup and debris from the skin. It has some... Um like a lemony scent, almost like a lemon or a lime. It's really light though, I like that. Oh wow. Oh, your skin, your hands just glide right over your skin. This honestly is so light, it reminds me of a massage oil. So after about 60 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and add some water to my hands. It emulsifies really nicely actually. Yeah, you can see it dripping all the way down my hands. Very milky. I've seen like a big theme from this line is that everything is just really hydrating. Nothing strips your skin, everything just gives you moisture. And your skin does not feel stripped at all. It is an oil cleanser, so it feels really hydrating. As always, I wanna be very accurate in this video and you guys will notice that I didn't get a moisturizer and I didn't get a water-based cleanser or a sunscreen. So I did use other products while I was using this set. And so the ones that I was using were from CeraVe, which I felt like was the most um, basic type of skincare so it wouldn't affect the results of using these actual products. Um, so I've got the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, which I used um, after I cleanse with the cleansing oil. If I wanted to exfoliate my skin, I would switch out with the SA, the salicylic acid cleanser, and that gave me a little bit of exfoliation that I needed. And then for moisturizing, I used the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. I also use the night cream that CeraVe has too. The next two products come as a set. This is the Hyal Treatment Emulsion and Toner. These are supposed to be super hydrating for the skin, and what's really cool about them is that they feature five different types of hyaluronic acid. They help to minimize hyperpigmentation and protect the skin from environmental stressors. Oh, that feels good. It doesn't really smell like anything either. Yeah, I don't smell anything, which is amazing because you guys know my relationship with fragrance. <laughs> they have a really milky texture, which is something that I've never tried before. As for the emulsion, I've always felt like I was missing some type of gel-like cream to go between my serum and my moisturizer. And this emulsion is exactly what I was looking for. Kind of smells like CeraVe's products, like how they're very, like they're not scented. Oh, that feels really good. This is a lot thicker than I thought an emulsion would be. It almost feels like a cream. But still very, very nice. Now on to the serums. The next product is the Niacinamide Plus. Now, niacinamide is one of my favorite ingredients because it does so much for the skin. Not only does it help with acne and inflammation, but it also helps restore and protect the skin's natural barrier. It calms the skin, improves the look of pores, it tones the skin, it prevents discoloration, and of course it has that brightening effect, so it's going to be really perfect for anyone who suffers from discoloration. Especially if you're someone with a darker skin complexion, you don't want to use anything that's too like harsh on your skin. Niacinamide is perfect because it's going to treat the inflammation, treat the acne, and treat the scarring. If there's one ingredient that 
that you can use in your collection other than sunscreen of course i would say it's niacinamide because it's great for so many different concerns so many different skin textures and types and it's just an amazing ingredient this one almost has like a sunscreen like smell i don't know how to describe it once again it's not like it's strong or anything but it has a mild sunscreen like scent Ooh. okay so this one It's definitely not as like viscose or as thick as the other one, but it is kind of sticky. So this serum, although it looks kind of liquidy, it has a little bit of a stick to it. Okay. So it's, which I was prepared for because I know that like these type of serums, they always have that consistency. So it's not too sticky, but you can... Can you see how my hands are sticking to my face? The next product is one that I was most excited about. This is the Fur Terpenol Plus. Now, this is a skin calming ampoule that targets breakouts as well as reduce inflammation in the skin. It has an ingredient called lactofrin, which is supposed to neutralize the presence of P. acnes bacteria, which if you don't know, is one of the leading causes of acne on your skin. It smells like tea tree. I'm going to focus it here in the center of my forehead, my temples, as well as by the bottom half of my cheek because that is where I break out the most, especially here on the jawline. I was really astonished with what my skin looked like after using this just one time. My skin was super healthy and plump and hydrated and glowing, but I didn't want to get ahead of myself because this was just one time and I had yet to like wear it on my face for a while. So I wanted to wait and see what happened in the following days. Day number two. Now before actually testing out any of these products, I did do a patch test two days before just to make sure that I wasn't going to break out from any of these products so they weren't going to give me any irritation. But on day number two, I did experience a little bit of purging. I know I said I was going to check back in with you guys in a few days, but it's actually the next morning and I wanted to come on here real quick and share with you guys what my skin looks like because you guys are always asking what purging looks like. This is purging. This is when your cell turnover rate of your skin is being increased and it results in pre-existing acne or comedones that are on your skin turning into whiteheads or blackheads, sometimes even pustules, but the difference is that they go away really, really quick. So these whiteheads are because the niacinamide increases turnover rate, the ingredients in the acne, um, fighting serum as well increases turnover rate, as well as the two serums, the, um, the toner and the essence have exfoliating ingredients in them. So I'm not worried about this. This is not me breaking out. This is just whiteheads and turnover. By day number three, it was a few days before my period. And if you're anything like me, you start to break out a lot during this time. So I was preparing myself for the worst. All right, guys, so it's a few days before my period. And as you guys know, this is when I tend to break out. So looking at our skin, we are breaking out just around our mouth, around the jawline area. And you can tell that these are hormonal because literally you just break out here in your jawline. There's nothing on my forehead. My forehead is clear, temples are clear. So for period breakout, this is okay. When you're trying new products, it is extremely important to make sure that you're easing yourselves into the entire collection or array of new products that you're trying. Because if you were to break out, you'll never know what actually broke you out. And it's so much easier to just add one or two and then go from there. So by day number six, when my purging was done, it was time to introduce the sheet mask. And I showed you guys before that my skin was purging. So fast forward five days later, all of that is pretty much gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face. I'm gonna do it in the shower because I'm washing my hair as well. And then when we come back, we're going to use the sheet mask for the first time. Lastly, I chose the Sika Source sheet mask. Try saying that three times. This is an anti-inflammatory mask that is supposed to soothe irritation, control oil production, and brighten the skin. It also contains antiseptic properties, which is supposed to speed up the healing time of any active blemishes on your skin. And the pack comes with 10 sheets. And by this time, I had started my period, so it was the perfect time to get some of that hydration and speed up that healing process. A couple of days ago, R&W sent over a PDF with a little bit more information about like how to create a routine with their products for your skin type. And I was really happy to see that the products that I chose were the ones that the brand even recommend for me. So that's great. Uh, looks like we're on the same page. Okay, so the routine that they give is the cleansing oil, 
then a cleanser, then the sheet mask, then the toner, the serum, an emulsion, the moisturizer, and then a treatment. So, I already did the cleansing oil and the cleanser, so we're gonna jump into the sheet mask. I'm gonna wet my face one more time. Because it's always best to apply any type of products on your face while your skin is still wet. That way, it's able to absorb it. Let's rip this baby open. I love the color of this. I think it's so, it's almost like a periwinkle, or almost reminds me of like Tiffany. Like breakfast at Tiffany's type of color, although I believe that's more blue. But anyways, um, almost like a sea foam green. Let's open it up. Oh, that smells beautiful. I'm really excited because it has Contella in it, which is such a great ingredient for people with more acne skin. Okay, so they do advertise that it has a gauze sheet mask. I know there's like the hydro colloid or however you pronounce it, um, sheet masks, and there's like the regular cotton ones, but this one is gauze. And from everything I know about gauze, it's supposed to really help um, the product not just stay in the applicator but just really soak into your skin better than using cotton because it absorbs most of the moisture but the gauze allows the moisture to just go on your face I can't tell you how many sheet masks I've tried that are just too big for the face or the like eye sockets and the mouth sockets are a little bit too small the mouth socket on this one is a little bit small for me but Everywhere I look with the eyes, it fits really well, so that's good. I'm going to empty the rest of the sheet mask on my chest, so we get some love there too. Okay, so I'm just gonna go lie down on my back, maybe watch a K-drama, and then finish up my skincare routine. Okay, so I am noticing that it is missing a little bit of space over here. So the mask is kind of set for a very small face, which I obviously don't have. Um, and this is somewhere where I tend to break out quite a lot. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Um, but other than that, like the rest of the parts of the face fit very well. It's been 30 minutes. Look at that. It feels really, really good though. Like very hydrated, even the rest of my skin feels really hydrated as well. Um, and I think that is R&W's like key factor. If you're looking for something that's really gonna hydrate your skin, this is it. All right, what do you guys think? What I really love about this brand is that everything, the routine is just so simple. It's so straightforward. There's no gimmicks, there's no fragrance, there's no like pearlescent additives to make it look pretty or whatever. It's literally, you ask for this ingredient, you ask for it to do this, it will do this, and your skin is just hydrated to the gods. Like that is all I ever asked for, <laughs> all I've ever wanted. And this honestly is delivering that. I've said it before, your skin is designed to heal itself. You just have to create an environment where it can do so effectively. And these products, the way that it's hydrating your skin, I can really see that that is flourishing. My skin looks so good. My skin is glowing. I typically add a little bit of oil, especially this winter, because my skin has just been really, really dry. But after all of that, the sheet mask and the toner and the emulsion and all this other stuff, my skin doesn't feel like it needs an extra oil. I put on moisturizer not because it felt like I needed it, because, um, but because I, I don't want the hydration to evaporate. And that is the kind of feeling that I want to get. That is hands down amazing. During the following two weeks, there really wasn't much change to my skin to share with you guys. So I didn't film too much. But on the 20th day using these products, oh, my skin just felt good. Good morning, friends. It is time to wash our face. I literally just woke up. And when I wake up, my skin typically has like dry patches here by my ears and stuff. These are like my dry areas on my face. And there's none of that. I haven't experienced any of that dryness, any of that flaking on my skin. I told you before that one of my eyes were getting super tight. I don't feel that anymore. I haven't really broken out very much at all. My skin just looks healthy. 
As for my dark spots, they are obviously still there, but I've said before, my dark spots have been on my face for five plus years, so they're not gonna be going away overnight. This routine itself wasn't targeting dark spots anyways, it was targeting acne and hydration, which was, you know, the two most important things for me right now, and I think that that was a success. I really do enjoy all of these products and I like how they feel on the skin. My favorite would have to be the R&W Dur Concentrate for Turpinol Plus because it has truly helped me just get rid of any irritation. You guys know I break out here by my chin. This has been a lifesaver for me. I use it, I don't use it every single day because it has tea tree oil in it and if I don't really need it, I'm not going to. So I use it mostly at night, every two days. And then when I am breaking out, I'll use it maybe every single night as a spot treatment in specific areas that need it. The niacinamide has just been so helpful as well with inflammation as well as dark spots on my skin. On my forehead, a lot of the dark marks have really gotten a lot lighter and it even stopped me from getting dark marks. This right here was a pimple that I got because of, you know, on my period, but it did not leave any scar whatsoever. And I've noticed that while using these products, any pimples that I have gotten did not leave any scar or any mark on my face. And it absolutely has something to do with the niacinamide. Prior to trying RNW, I don't think I've ever used a milky toner or an emulsion. I typically, for my toners, I use something that has a BHA in it to exfoliate my skin. And I'll usually use like aloe vera or some type of gel-like product before going with the moisture. Moisturizer. So this kind of acts as my gel-like moisturizer, the emulsion on your skin. One thing that I found helps a lot is when you're actually using some type of cloth to remove the oil off of your face. So the one that I'm going to be using is this one that I found on Amazon. This is a microfiber round makeup remover and this is what I'm going to be using to remove the oil on my skin. So I really do think that these products help to repair my skin barrier. My skin barrier was extremely damaged because of all of the dryness that I've been taking on the inside and I didn't experience any of that. I typically get dry patches by my ear over here. For what reason, I don't know, but I didn't get any of that at all and it completely went away. My skin is so balanced and oil controlled and healthy and I have barely any breakouts on my face. As for fragrance, I don't find this line has a lot of fragrance in it anyways, save for the For Terpenol, which has tea tree oil in it, so it's gonna smell a little bit like that. But um, the only thing I would say has a little bit of fragrance is the cleansing oil, but I don't mind it at all. It's not like anything overbearing or irritating to your skin. Overall, I really do enjoy these products. I feel like they're so minimalistic, they're so simple, they legitimately just do what they're supposed to do. So that was my experience using r and I absolutely suggest picking these up. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried these products before because we would love to hear your thoughts. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. Stay gorgeous and fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my very next video. Bye.